Yellow. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of San Fran's Witch Code. Literally woke up. I was asleep. Woke up to do this because consistency matters. Even though I was already asleep. So good morning. Good night. And typical rundown. What did I do today? I went to the farmer's market. I think that was my first farmer's market. First of all, it's a vibe. Um you know, I'm gonna sound real foolish saying this, but I didn't realize the farmer's markets, like it's not, you know, like flea market? There's aren't, there aren't ideally fleas at the flea market. So I didn't realize there'd really be farmers at the farmer market, the farmer's market. So that was fascinating, getting to, you know, talk to some farmers about their crops, their crops. You don't get that experience at Whole Foods. And yeah, there's like flowers and vegetables and nuts and fruits. I got so many fruits because I love fruit, which is why I'll never do keto. By the way, I got a breakfast burrito at this place nearby and she was so sweet. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if Houston never, let me not speak for the whole city. When I was in Houston, I didn't really feel like when I went to a restaurant, it gave me like a really mom and pop small business vibe. But you know, every time I pop into a little cafe around here, it really feels like I'm talking to my aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, like cousin. It feels so familial in a way that I love. Like I went in and I was like, what do you recommend? Which is my classic go-to. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but apparently one of my friends was like, I wish I did that. I'm like, did what? And she's like, you know, I had the courage to ask the server what they recommend. And I was like, that's literally the only thing I do. You work here. You know better than I do how this works. Oh, I think I did mention this in a previous video, but I'm repeating it again. You work, know better than I do how this works. Why would I trust my judgment on what I should eat? I don't have allergies. I just want your best. Give me a damn good experience. I don't want it to be my fault for picking the wrong thing on the menu and then I say that your place sucks. Represent yourself well and give me your best. So, anyway, went to this little cafe for breakfast, got a breakfast burrito and she was super sweet. And I was like, aw, thanks auntie. Like, <laughs> it, was, it was such a warm conversation. Like, I really feel like I'm talking to a family member at so many of like the cafes and restaurants that I've been to so far. So even though the restaurants aren't like, don't have this large experience, right? Like everything's bigger in Texas. Restaurants in Houston, first of all, are really big. They're so pretty. Interior design is impeccable. Everything about the experience of being in the restaurant or outdoor seating is so nice. And here I'm just like, it suffices it's sufficient like they're smaller spaces they don't feel as clean they're definitely not as pretty or like decorated or whatever so but they make up for that in giving me mom and pop vibes which is so cute so breakfast burrito at this place you know i was at we work all day every day as per usual back to mac meetings as per usual grateful for the ones that get canceled last minute as per usual and then I went to the farmer's market. I posted on LinkedIn about having anxiety as a product manager and someone said, step away for lunch. And I did. And I went to the farmer's market and it was beautiful and I'm kind of excited to go all the time. First of all, let's talk about this. I love events that can easily be fashion shows. You know, like large public crowds and not just random, like you're in, you're in New York City walking around, that's a large public crowd. I mean, like a farmer's market. Like we're all here, we're vibing, this is the public, also, oh, this is the public, and I can really flex my fit, you know? So, I don't really have fix, fits to flex right now. And like, you're probably like, why would you flex a fit at the farmer's market? Because nobody really cares, that's literally the point. Like, feel good, I wanna feel good in my outfit without feeling like there's attention being drawn to me. Like, if you notice my outfit, cool, but I don't want it to be an actual fashion show or like, a club that requires a certain dress. I'm like, no. I need I need this to be a casual admiration of the look. 
Anyway, so this week I've learned Whole Foods is expensive but kind of a vibe. I think I like cooking. I think I like farmers markets. I told my coworker today, like, being in Oakland is literally just gonna be a discovery of my actual adult self. I think this is the first time that I feel like an adult adult. Because I've been an adult for a while, but then I was in college, and then I was living with family, and then I was still in school, and now it's like, nope, I'm like really, I'm a year deep into my job. I'm gonna find my first apartment, and I'm in a new city by myself, which is like a perfect combination. Cause it's like, oh, okay. I have some level of job security, I hope. Jesus, help me. And housing security, I hope Jesus help me. Both of which I didn't have before, which feels amazing. But also I'm, I'm alone. I think being alone in a new city is kind of important. I was talking to someone today about the fact that I'm more than most, let me not say most, I don't know that stat. More than the average person I know, I really be in random places alone. Like I don't mean an alleyway, but like different cities, towns, whatever. And it's so underrated. Like people are like, oh my God, you're alone. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm alone. Like it, it sucks sometimes, but it's really interesting because I can just walk into a farmer's market and spend all day there and just vibe. Like think of the entirety of life as a museum. I'm the type of person who likes to go to the museum alone or with very particular people. Hopefully you get that analogy. Cause museums are not things that you, God damn, like if you go to a museum with like a crowd of friends or classmates or anything, and first of all, they don't appreciate art in the way that you do. They have a whole different sense of style. They don't appreciate the museum experience. They're like trying to go, like it kills the vibe. It's so nice to walk into a museum, be there by yourself and just read read all the little info, look at all the details, take little pics, stand with your headphones in and just appreciate the art. Mm. And that's how I feel about being in Oakland by myself right now. I'm just standing and appreciating it all. And I'm really grateful for it all. So I'm glad I moved so far. So brings me to my questions. Am I happy? Yes. Ooh -ooh. Am I fulfilled? Yes. Discovering the next stage of my existence is fulfilling. What did I learn about Oakland? That it has a really cool farmer's market and this place called New Parish that is like a theater, performance hall, that has really uh, eclectic, I don't know. Very interesting artist taste vibes that I definitely want to go to. And Apparently there's a jazz festival, all of downtown is blocked off when that happens. And apparently Oakland has Indian summers. So I was worried because it's August and I'm like, it only gets colder from here. Apparently it doesn't get colder from here. It actually gets warmer from here because the summer's like slightly shifted off season. And it's like when fall is supposed to be. So it'll be interesting to see how that happens. Cause I was hot and sweating today for the first time since I've moved here. To be granted, I've been here for like two weeks, so let me not get exaggerated, but still super interesting. And what did I learn about life today in general? There are these shoes that I have. I'll get them. and i want them in white and i found out that you can't get them anywhere in white except resale places so you know how sneakerheads buy up shoes just so that they go out of stock everywhere just so they can raise the price somewhere else so i downloaded StockX to try and get the white version of these shoes and StockX is interesting because it's not like it's not like a pinteresty instagrammy shopping place like you can't like favorite stuff, like, oh, I'm gonna buy this later. It's like very stock market. Like I said, it's called StockX. Stock market like is like price over time, trends, follow this item, market, whatever. So that was interesting. And I'm gonna go to bed now because I already was. Bye.